Greetings. My name is Dr. Vinicio de Jesus Perez, and I am an assistant professor of medicine at the Stanford University Medical Center. I'm also a staff physician and researcher of the Wall Center for Pulmonary Vascular Research. Today, I'm going to talk to you about the pathology of pulmonary hypertension. The patient with pulmonary hypertension suffers from the inability to move blood into the oxygen exchange areas of the lung. With the degree of uh, obstruction that occurs in pulmonary arterial hypertension, the right side of the heart uh, initially tries to compensate, but ultimately blood will not be able to move from the heart to the lungs. And unless we can treat on time, this will lead to congestive heart failure and the death of the patient. The vascular lesions in the patient with pulmonary hypertension can take many uh, forms. Uh, they can range from uh, excessive smooth muscle growth around the circumference, which narrows the, the vascular lumen all the way to endothelial cells that fill in the lumen with tortuous channels. Regardless of the appearance, the effect is the same. It's a roadblock to blood flow to the areas of the lung where oxygen exchange takes place. At present, it is hard for us to uh, quantify these vessels without uh, having access to a lung tissue biopsy. Since the advent of the newer therapies for pulmonary hypertension, it was speculated that these therapies will reduce the number and the burden of vascular lesions in the lungs of patients. Unfortunately, a recent uh, pathological study uh, sponsored by the Pulmonary Hypertension Breakthrough Initiative has now shown that uh, regardless of the length, duration, or number of therapies a patient uh, is on, the vascular pathology is not changed. We still see the same level of severity and uh, uh, range of pulmonary vascular lesions. So it seems that we're not making a difference in terms of the appearance uh, or a range of pathology, but much rather we may be targeting vessels that are still healthy and still uh, responsive to vasodilatory therapies. The vascular lesions in pulmonary hypertension act as roadblocks to blood flow. The right ventricle has to overcome this blockade to move uh, blood past them and into the oxygen exchanging areas of the lung. But the right ventricle has a limited capacity to compensate and eventually what will happen is that the right ventricle will become weaker and it will become enlarged because the blood that does not move into the lung stays behind. And this is what is known as congestive heart failure and it is a sign of advanced pulmonary hypertension. Unfortunately, none of the available medications appear to change the natural appearance or reverse those uh, established lesions. However, a major focus of ongoing research at our institution and at other centers worldwide is to identify medications that can target these lesions and indeed serve to regress and open these vessels so that they can once again transmit blood flow. There are currently phase two and three studies on their way um, at our institution as well as others in the country or in the world that are testing therapies that may have the potential to truly affect a, a change and reverse established lesions in patients with pulmonary hypertension. The take home message is that pulmonary arterial hypertension is a disorder associated with progressive obstruction of the pulmonary circulation and right heart failure as a result of the inability to overcome this obstruction. At present, the medications that we have available do not uh, induce regression or disappearance of these vessels. However, 
There are ongoing trials testing medications with the potential to get rid of these lesions, remove the obstruction, and once again allow blood flow into the oxygen areas of the lung. The goal then is that this will improve right ventricular capacity. It will improve the patient's ability to take a deep breath and be able to uh, regain their lost ability to carry out uh, their uh, activities of daily living. The goal then is that ultimately we want to give back the patients the quality of life that they deserve.